What's up everyone? Welcome back to Suikoden Tactics. So in the last episode we completed the battle at Haruna Village and we recruited Simeon here. As for Simeon, um, with like mage characters it doesn't really matter that their HP is so low. He has ridiculously low HP though and his physical defense is really bad as well. So he'll die in one hit pretty much if he gets hit by a physical attack. But a lot of the times it doesn't matter because like mages are usually in the back anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much uh, that he has low HP. He's a good character. Uh, I've used him in the past and past playthroughs. I don't plan to use him in this playthrough though, but he is a good character. I just feel like uh, Andar could be a better option. Because having offensive magic is better in this particular game. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and remove his um, flowing rune there. You could give Simeon a, uh, like a lightning rune or whatever as well though. Make him offensive as well. As well as have that, but I just prefer in dark, honestly. About warrior rune, warrior rune here, which converts one half physical defense to strength. Also, buy killer runes here too. Thank you. But as for the blacksmith, you can get up to level five here. Then Outfitter, no bargain items. Master's Vest, Knight's Armor. You can buy Wing Shields here. Killer Rings, God, uh, Godspeed Anklets, and Magical Capes. Okay, Magical Capes are pretty good. Boosting Magic, magic Defense is always good. Might buy a couple of those. Skill and speed are less important. So I think the character's default speed and skill is good enough. Uh, magic boost and magic defense is always good though. So I'm, I'm going to see how many I want to buy of those before I start buying too many of them. Oh, you can, okay, you can only have one cape. Okay, so you can either do... Yeah, so it's better to equip the magical capes because you can get good defense from just your armor, just equipping armor and stuff, so... Yeah, I'm probably going to buy a bunch of magical capes. Now, she might, might be... Or Edgar... Okay, it only boosts skill. Okay, that's... Alright, so yeah, we'll, we'll go with the magical cape with her, for her and as well. I thought it might have like boost defense more. Alright, I went ahead and bought a bunch of magical capes for all my characters and equipped them for them. I'm gonna go to remove all this stuff from Simeon. Now I will say there's less uh, magical attacks in this game in comparison to physical attacks. The majority of the enemies are physical, uh, there, but there are some magic users of course, but there's just way more physical attacks. But like I said, you get like so much defense from your armor and everything, you don't really need like fur capes and stuff like that. They don't help but a little, they don't add but a little bit of defense anyway. So it's just better to have those magical capes. You could, uh, honestly, the best parties in this game in this game would probably be like a mage, mage party. Just give everybody like a lightning rune and just like all your mages lightning runes and just destroy everything. Lightning rune in this game is 
very powerful, especially if you're on beneficial terrain. And like I said, mages can just stand back and survive. I mean, they only mainly take like one hit from my, like one enemy and then that's it a lot of the times. With like physical characters though, when you're like going in melee range like Kika, uh, she can get hit by multiple enemies and get, get killed pretty easily. But yeah, that's just my take on everything. Let's go to the gossip here, see what people have to say. This town is so interesting, isn't it? It used to be two separate towns, one on either side of the bridge long ago, but they were but they grew closer and closer until they finally joined together. At least that's what my grandma says. You think it's true? Lady Ornella rules this town. Have you folks met her? She's quite beautiful, you know. Other military officers leave local matters to patriarchal faction members serving under them, but not Lady Ornella. We're all really proud of her. Howdy, travelers. How are things outside these parts? I'm thinking I might leave town for a while. Make some real money. Hey, look who it is. She's back again. Another sweetening game. Jean. Dee, hi there. Oh yeah, that's fair. We still need to go get uh, Mitsuba as well. I forgot about that. Um, I think we need to head to train a plane to get her. We can recruit Jean as well. Might actually be able to do that. I'll probably do that in the next episode though. Yeah, we need to go to head to train a plane to get Mitsuba and Rain hold. The border between Scarlet Oh, guess we gotta do story first. Long been disputed. Neither one will back down on their claim to the territory. However, there is a truce in effect. Which the Kuluk are ignoring? Precisely. There have been recent reports of heavy Kuluk activity in the area. Setting up rune cannons, I suppose. A rune cannon here, a rune cannon there? What the heck are they up to? Isn't El Eel being rebuilt too? Ever since El Eel was destroyed by the island nations, the whole Kuluk Empire has been focused on defense. Yeah, it figures you would know. Well, anyone who snooped around could have figured that much out. At any rate, let's go check it out. Alright, so we unlock Small Border Village. We're not going there in this episode, though. It'll probably be a while before we go there. Uh, we don't want to hunt monsters. We just want to enter a terrain a plane. I'm going to save it first, of course. I did not mean to rest, but maybe we'll get a scene here. I haven't been doing this. I should have been doing this a lot sooner, but... I didn't think about it a lot of the times. Okay, so we got a conversation with Pablo... Or Pablo and Simeon. I see, so your master was the very one responsible for bringing the rune cannons into this world. Yep, Warlock. That's right. And he was despised for it. Finally one day he was attacked. I rushed to help, but it was too late. That's unfortunate, I'm sorry. Did he tell you anything? Even the smallest hint as to the secrets of the rune cannons would help. Master wouldn't tell me anything. Or rather, whenever I tried to learn about rune cannons, he would avoid the subject. Oh, but there was that one time he told me to avoid tinkering with the muzzle. Interesting. So the key lies in the eye, the rune cannon's muzzle. I suppose so. I wish I could have met this man. Yeah, two brilliant sorcerers like yourselves would have had a lot to talk about. Indeed. Center train a plane here. Ooh. 
Uh, defeat Mitsuba. Uh, we just Carol. Level 33. Holy crap. Uh. Should be okay. I have some Dux omelets. So I need to heal. Just making sure I have the best equipment here. What element is she? Oh, I messed up. I should have came here during uh, a wind day. Because here's the thing about Mitsuba. Her element... Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, she has the chameleon rune. So whatever day it is, is what rune element she has. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's my bad. So yeah, come here on a wind day. Well, well. What do we have here? Looks like easy pickings, huh? You're here to challenge me, right? Hello. Anyone home? Better get it together or I'll attack first. Let's see if I can get away from her real quick. Yep, there we go. Okay. So let me throw down a bead here. It's probably going to attack me from behind, which is nothing I can do about that. And of course she smashes me. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to win because she's, I don't, she's not on wind. I'm going to have to do this battle again. Oh, parried her. Oh, leveled up though. That could actually make all the difference. Oh crap, I kind of screwed myself though a little bit because she's going to go outside of... I think what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll turn this way. That way... Um, she'll stay on the fire train. Don't die, Kirill. Okay, we're good. And then I can go behind her and kill, take her out. There we go, got her. And nice, get some easy EXP there. I didn't think I was going to be able to beat her there. I should have came here on a wind day. What the hell? How'd you get so strong? Never mind that. You're going to return all those things you stole, got it? I didn't steal anything. I won that stuff fair and square in duels. But enough about that. You mind if I tag along? Why would you want to? Ah, oh, come on. You guys must be racking, racking it in. Taking down bad guys left and right. I want in on some of that. Oh. Can we swing by Mercedo too, please? This one looks like a handful. Come on, come on, let's get moving. I don't think we have a choice. The next stop's Mercedo, I guess. Alright. She forces her way into the party. Go to Mercedo. Talk to Reinhold. Huh? What's wrong, Mitsuba? Rainhold, you numb skull. My time said I tell you never to send anyone stronger than me. Forgive me, I didn't mean to. Wait a minute, you're in on this too? But please forgive me, she made me do it. She forced me. Oh, shut up already. So are you coming or not, Rainhold? I decided to go with them, you should come too. Um, perhaps. Make up your mind already. Yes, please allow me to join you. Well, that's settled. Um, nice to have you. <laughs> Alright. So let's check those two out. 
So she does start at level 33, the same level as she as we fought her in. She has good HP, which is great. That's what you want from melee melee characters. Uh, I'm not really sure about her defense. I don't know if that's any good or not, really. It's hard to tell. She got a good amount of luck as well, which means she'll critical hit a lot. Give her a killer rune. Well, I guess it'd be kind of hard to give her a killer rune, but she's forced to have that chameleon rune. So, with that chameleon rune, you have to set up the days properly. And I'm probably not going to use her, honestly, because of that. As for Rainhold, he starts level 33 as well. Uh, HP's okay. Not as good as Mitsuba's. I never really used him. Probably not going to use him in this time either. But we'll go ahead and remove their stuff. Alright, now that's out of the way, let's head back to the quest guild and see if there's any new quests. There should be one that allows us to recruit Jean. Which I might honestly use. I've never used Jean before. I'll be honest with you viewers, I never really like used Jean in like any of the... Like I used her in Swiggin' in 5, right? Both, both times when I first played the game and when I did the playthrough. But I never used her long term in any of the playthroughs. Like I haven't uploaded all the videos for Swiggin' and 5 yet. At the time of this recording. But you'll see that Jean is not in my final party. And she never was. I never used her in any of the games in my final party. Not saying she's bad. She's she's great. But I just, just never used her, you know. Five kinds of spirit fragments to the tavern in Haruna. Yep. This is how you recruit Jean. Fire spirits, water spirits, and so on sometimes drop fragments of their element. Somebody please collect all five kinds of spirit fragments and bring them to the tavern in Haruna. Yes, we can do that. Great, we're counting on also, frog skin one and no deadline. Okay. Go get three frog skins. Get a bonded suit, which is basically what Rainhold has. Come again. We don't have um, Lightning Spirit Fragment, though. I have all the other ones. But as you can tell here, I don't have a Lightning Spirit Frag, unfortunately. I don't know how I managed not to get one, but we'll get one later. Don't worry. Get one eventually. I guess we'll... Do we have time to go back to the storyline? Let's see. Well, not really. I, I'm ha We're already at 18 minutes. I don't really have... There's not much I could really do, though. Unfortunately, I've done everything there is to do. So I guess we're going to advance the storyline. It's going to be a little bit of a longer episode. It's fine. I could do about it. I don't want to like waste time, you know, and just end the episode. That'd be stupid. So let's go to the small border village. I'm gonna save it, of course. Okay, there's so many good characters that I'm not using in this playthrough. It's just like, I just like to use my favorite characters, like Kika is one of my favorites. Who goes there? But there are better characters than Kika. Like I said, her HP is just so low and so is Snow. Snow's HP is really low. I don't recommend Snow either because like his HP is really low. He dies really fast and he can actually permanently die. 
Kika can Kika cannot permanently die. Kika always withdraws. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Kika cannot die. Um, but that that and that makes her really good. But I don't like when any of my characters die, even if they just withdraw. I don't like that. So I would prefer to use like two-handed sword users like Axel, but I just don't like Axel as a character. Yeah, here's Frederica, who's in Sweden and Four. Huh. You don't look like Kuluk soldiers. What business do you have here at the border? Well, I guess they haven't said her name yet, so I probably shouldn't have said that. But, but are you whatever. Around here? The name's Frederica. I'm not a Kuluk. I'm from Scarlet Moon across the border. I see. We have all sorts of people in this village. No one cares where anybody's from. And we don't trust people who do care. So who are you, and what do you want? I'm Hines. We're also from Scarlet Moon. I see. So you must be after those rune cannons they just set up. Uh, uh. <laughs> right on the dot, huh? I can see it in your eyes. And what brings you here? I remember this battle. This is like one of the most annoying battles in the game. Well, if you must know, I'm investigating the long-standing border dispute. Even though the border region has been so calm lately? No. The Scarlet Moon Empire has been quite busy here. That's probably why the Kuluk deployed the rune cannons. You're not here to grab them and haul them back over to Scarlet Moon, are you? Um. We've come to destroy them. Destroy them? The Kuluk have this terrible weapon, this evil eye, that can turn people into monsters. We have to stop them. Hmm. Interesting. If what you say is true, I may be able to help you. It is the truth. I wouldn't lie about that. Very well. Come on, I'll show you the way. Frederica has joined us. Another character I never used before. Small border village. Destroy all rune cannons. Yeah, so this battle's annoying because you have these like rune cannons, right? And they have like ro very long range. And they'll just keep constantly blasting you as you go through the map. Uh, there's a bunch of them here, as you can tell. And on top of that, we want to dig and all that stuff, so... Okay, as for digging spots, there's one around this... Uh, rune cannon over here. I don't know exactly where, but near there. And there's also two chests we can get here. Uh, you're going to want to open both chests. One up there, and then... I don't know where the other one's at. Oh, there it is, right there. Uh, one of them's pretty good, and the other one's, like, very good. Well, actually, one of them... I'll say one of them's not not that great. Honestly, we can get better stuff, but the other one you're definitely gonna want. This one right here, def you're definitely gonna want to open. And we'll be doing that. Okay, so this is my party. And dark's pretty good in this fight. Uh, yeah, let's bring in and dark. We'll get rid of Nalio. Nalio also has low HP too, so not the greatest. <laughs> but does a ridiculous amount of damage. What? And I thought it was awesome that they made Nalio a playable character in this one, because you couldn't put you could put Nalio in your party in the other Swe in Sweden and Four, but Nalio is only a support character. So. All right, there we go.
So I could do go ahead and take out those one of the rune cannons right now. But I don't know. We're gonna get some more characters in this battle as well. Um, yeah, let's just take it out. How many times can I use this? Four times? Yeah. And this is why the this is why Lazlo is the most broken character in the game. 800 damage from a distance. And unlike with like, I'll just move him right up in, into the enemy's face because he's not gonna die either. He'll, he'll survive. Like he's got a good amount of defense or a good amount of HP survive what element are they lightning okay I'm just gonna lure them in closer to the Kika and them just gotta stay over here in the corner behind the other characters Can't quite kill it. I'm gonna use lightning force here and then next turn finish it off. Bring it on, y'all about to die. up their train here so they're not on at least not on beneficial train anyway yep so we're about to get blasted here I think this I'm guessing is considered a magical attack I hey, thanks for buffing snow you deb it debuffed uh what is it? Uh, I think I want to move here. Or no, not true friends attack. Okay, so it can go two. So I'll need to be right here to hit hit all the enemies. I think, or maybe right here. Yeah, I think right here. Yep, so let me just stand by here. Wait. Oh crap, he gets to go for Kika? Why? What? What the heck's up with that? Screw it, I guess we're killing this guy then. Darn it. That didn't work out as I'd planned. Let's do this. Oh, I can only kill one of them though. I didn't kill the other guy. Didn't kill either one of them. Oh crap. This could be bad. Okay, they went after Eugene. We're good. 
Or one of them went after Eugene anyway. Giga should be alright though. Kiki's on beneficial terrain, so it shouldn't be that bad. Right, we'll do Berserk Blow, finish that Rune Cannon off. Dang. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh, throwing down. Trying to screw over Eugene there, huh? Hope we got reinforcements. Another room cannon down. Now these like blockades you can kill, but there's not much point. But it might as well, right? I'm not sure why these blockades are even here, but I guess it, to make it feel like a war, like it's a war. Okay, here we go. It's Paula. Yep, they all were in Swiggity and Four. I'm Paula. King Lino of Oval asked us to drop by. Perfect timing. These owls are for you. Anyone should be able to ride them. Thanks. That'll definitely help. Paula, Jewel, and Selma. Poor Selma and Jewel don't get to talk. And we get owls. And what owl, what makes owls so good is they can they got like good jumps so you can get high up and places you can't reach with your other characters. So that's pretty good. Oh god. That is passive her. I don't need to do anything right now with her. Can't reach. Kill this mage. I like that Blazlo sniped the mages. Mages are deadly. Oh, leveled up as well. He get all of his MP back. So now I can cast that OP spell two more times. Okay, they can talk to each other. I guess I might as well, right? Are you working hard, Jewel? Of course. <laughs> You're as cheerful as ever. Who would have thought we'd fight together again, huh? Anyway, good luck. Thanks. Let's do the best we can and make Lino King Lino proud. <laughs> so Selma and Joel can't talk. Let's check out their stats though. We have Selma. Selma Hoyak. 
<laughs> uh, but no, in all seriousness, though, Selma, she's got good strength. Uh, pretty good all all around, really, except for really magic defenses or lowest stat. She's more defensive than Axel. As for Jewel, um, I'd have to dismount her in order to get her true stats. Good evasion, good strength. I'd say good all, all around, really. Goodbye. <laughs> Kika missed? Wow, that's surprising. She, her skill is ridiculous. I'm surprised she missed. Yeah, Kika is the one shot queen. But she does very fast, trust me. I've used her a lot in this game. I know she dies really quick. If we wouldn't over leveled, uh, she probably would have died there, honestly. She can survive one hit, though. She had to get hit like twice in order for her to die, really. Oh, I forgot to talk to Selma. I should have talked to Selma. I'm gonna open that chest instead of destroying this. Do we get? Okay, that's the that's the bad chest. We want to get the other one up there, because the other one has a Mother Earth orb, which is obviously very good. Goodbye. That's what I'm talking about with the lightning rune earlier. You can give all the mages lightning runes and just destroy everything, guys. Like, you don't even need, um... You don't need Laszlo. I've, beat, I've actually beaten this game without Laszlo as well. Because when I first played this game, I didn't have my save file converted over. So... Or... What happened was... I um something happened and I it didn't transfer properly and I never got Laszlo on my first playthrough. Or or maybe I beat the game. I didn't know you could recruit Laszlo and th that's what happened maybe. But I know I got him on the second playthrough of this game. So this is technically technically my third playthrough of the game. I didn't mention that earlier, but yeah. Well, actually, I've, I, I've actually beaten this game more than three, actually. This is actually my fourth playthrough. Because that's right, I did play through New Game Plus and all that. Okay, Eugene's getting pretty close to leveling up too. 
Let's see if I can't take those enemies out over there in that fire terrain. Uh, probably not. I don't want to move too close to the rune cannon, so we're going to wait. Anyway, I need to move Renee to the west. So we're probably going to go west first to um, get up there. We're going to have to follow this road here to get up there because of how high it is. So we're going to have to go. We're not going to be able to go up and around basically. We'll have to go around. I'm not worried about her dying either because she has protection. She gets a permanent attack and defense boost of whatever I have equipped on her. I think I have a Mother Earth or Mother Earth robe or something like that. I'm just going to destroy this. Just for fun. Snow's in the way. Can hit do fall solo on that enemy though. Might as well get some chip dam damage in on him. Alright, snow leveled up. Snow's one of those characters I also don't like to send, like, right into the enemy face, you know. Because he has low hit points, too. So a lot of times I'll keep him back. Instead of bum rushing in, you know. I think I bought those magical capes, right? By the way, the owls are, I think, immune to the terrain. I if I can use voice of death on that character. 88%, let's see if it works. Yep, looks like it did. I could tell when the, they like flinch like that. Great, they got owl fighters too. Need to take out all the soldiers first. We could leave the rune cannons up. They're not going to do that much damage to us. But I'm a little bit concerned about the soldiers. Oh, you want to move closer to me, do you? You're about to get wrecked. Cool.
Did a lot of damage. How about Eugene leveled up? Alright. Two to evasion and two to physical defense. Nice. Nice parry there, Snow. Crap, I can't kill that person because... Actually, yeah, I can. I can do Fly Swallow. Goodbye. You're dead, Captain. Yeah, let's keep... Let's keep Kika back. Don't want to risk it. Oh, they didn't even bother to give them any, uh, beads. Finish you both off. Spread out the damage. No! Okay, good. They both died. That's something bad about that rune. It sometimes, like, doesn't hit the enemy you want it to. It hits the same enemy, like, seven times or whatever. It's kind of random a little bit. Okay, she has flowing force. Get rid of that lightning train. So, got. You're weak. That's not worth using. You gotta do this. Kind of screw over Andark a little bit there, but it's okay. Can move him over here, which is risky because there's soldiers coming this way, but I can finish this one off. I'm not really worried about the rune cannons because Andark has a lot of magic defense, so... Kill that person off. And let's keep Snow back. He's too too low of HP. Stabbed in the face by Paula. Going after Eugene, huh? That's a big mistake. Let's go, Eugene. Kill that enemy off. Wow, look at that damage. 1600 damage. That's insane. 
broken. Alright, so we need to get towards that rune cannon over there, which is what I'm doing. And we'll be able to get that treasure. Oh, nice crit, Jewel. Beautiful crit. Okay, gotta be a little bit careful. I wanna. I think I'm just gonna defeat that uh, rune cannon before moving closer. Just so I don't take damage from it. There's no point in need needlessly taking damage from it. But I could just use Laszlo to kill it, right? It could probably hit me from here, though. But it's okay if it does. No, it can't hit me from here. Interesting. I thought it would be able to. Oh, I can't reach. That sucks. And there's a bunch of uh, fire here, so I'm going to have to get rid of that. There we go. I think I am going to move her closer. He's not going to die from that rune cannon. There's no way. We'll be okay. <laughs> Coward. Hiding behind the rune cannons. Keep passing, wait until Laszlo's turn comes. And then we can advance. I want to go over to the left and get the treasure spot. Or digging spot, I mean. Goodbye. I guess I gotta hit the archer too, but it's okay. If I have to, I'll kill the archer with physical attacks. By the way, to win this battle, you just defeat all the rune cannons. So if you want to keep them alive, you can. Keep one of them, keep one of them alive. You can do that. Oh. There it is, over there. As you can tell, that range is kind of ridiculous on those rune cannons, though. They have, like, ridiculous range. You missed. If you can at least take a swing at Renee, at least hit her. Just gonna pass here. There's nothing I can really do. Right now we're just going for that treasure. I do want to keep that, I think. Uh, I think I'll just attack here.
Oh wow, she actually took a lot of damage from that. I didn't think the enemy would do that much damage to her. Kind of overestimated her defense there. Let's go ahead and finish this enemy off over here. Start killing some of these archers off. While Renee's getting that treasure. Ugh. There we go. Turn her ordeal. So they get that's what that archer gets for attacking Renee. I'm not worried about this. Iron Dark will resist it. This is the only treasure spot uh digging spot in the uh area by the way. That was a pretty that was a pretty weak attack. I expected it to do more damage to Andark there. <laughs> Attacked your own archer, you idiot. Endark's getting a little low on hit points though, which has me a little bit concerned. But I can kill the archer here. I could probably have someone heal him, probably Kika. Oh, I can hit Rune of Punishment from way out over here. Wow, that's crazy. The range on that is insane. Oh, one more. There we go. Go ahead and dig this up. Let's see what we get. And we get General Armor. It's a new armor. Yeah, I think we can move Kika up some. I need to get over to that treasure. Remember, you gotta kill... You gotta get the treasure chest before you kill all the enemies. Or else... Dang, that does a lot of damage. I gotta kill at least one of them all so we don't take as much. Let's see, I think I can kill this one, alright. No? But the. I'll go ahead and attack it here, I think. Not that much damage, but... Finish it off of a torn ordeal. And then we'll get the chest, and then we'll kill the last one. That's what you're supposed to do. That's so overpowered, though. Ow. I only did four damage to Kirill.
Oh, it's because he has 43 magic defense. Wait, maybe it's a physical attack. Yeah, that's a physical attack. That rune cannon blast is physical. That's why, um... Kira only took so low damage and everybody else took more. You would think that'd be a... Magical attack, right? But it's a physical. Weird. Oh, let's go ahead and heal Eugene up there. With these OP Deluxe Omelets. Not only do you get a full heal, but you get a defense boost as well. Absolutely insane. Wish I was in every game. I'm just going to pull snow back. He couldn't reach the chest, so... We'll have Kiro open it here. Now all stuff is to do is kill the last rune cannon. You definitely want to open this chest though, because you get... I already said it earlier, but Mother Earth Orb. And then we'll finish it off with, guess what? The Rune of Punishment. Which is OP in this game. Oh, we got an A. 16,000 potch and 9,900 skill points. Uh, we get gold medal, mother earth orb, general armor, and silver mail. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video before the cutscenes and everything. So thanks for watching later. I'll show the cutscenes in the next episode. Later.